Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel, it's Kristen. So, I was watching Samantha March, who, if, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I love Samantha March, and I, I love everything she does. Um, and she was talking about how um, her friend Kelly Gooch, which I'll link both of them down below, um, uh, created this series called If I Could Only Keep One, or some, something along those lines. I'll put the exact name um, on this video. But, and she did it, when I came back from my vacation, I saw that she had done it with her eyeshadow palettes. And I was like, that's awesome, because I wanted to, I wanted to show you guys my eyeshadow palette collection. Um, and like I said, when I, I filmed it, and just, there's a, there's a big spot on my lens. I don't know how, I don't know how there's ever a spot on my lens. I don't ever touch my lens, and yet somehow there's always a spot on it. So I always make sure to go back and clean it now before I start any video. Um, but I thought that was a great way to show my collection and show you what my favorites, instead of talking about each one individually, um, show you them and then talk about my favorite from each brand. So I figured, why not? We could do that. Um, um, so I figured, why not? We can do that. So I figured we would start with that. I have a mixture of high-end and um, affordable. I have ColourPop, so it's not drugstore, but affordable. Though you can you can get a lot of the palettes from ColourPop now in Ulta. So, um, and then I also have kind of a miscellaneous pile. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get started, shall we? And I have the ColourPop ones actually in my hand. Um, I only have three ColourPop. Um, palettes. I have the Zodiac, which was the collaboration with Kathleen Lights. So there we go. That's what the Zodiac looks like. It's a very eclectic collection of colors, in my opinion. At first, I look at it and it doesn't make any sense, but I actually can make pretty good eyeshadows looks out of this one. Then I have the It's My Pleasure palette, which is the all-purple palette that they made. And then they, and then recently they did the Misunderstood palette, um, which looks like this. This is the Disney Villains one. Now, I like all three. Um, I think I voiced my my opinion on this one, where I think it leans a little more pink on me than purple, which was a little disappointing. There are definitely purple shades in here, but hmm, not my favorite. These two are definitely my favorite of the two and I had kind of a hard time with this one um, deciding which one was my favorite because this one has great like transition colors with uh, tragic and devious right here this Diablo shade is amazing it has no spots which is a nice transition color or not transition color a nice setting color and then you have all these beautiful colors down here to play with but there's no mirror so that's why I'm thinking that my favorite out of my color pop is going to be the Zodiac. And the reason for that, the reason why the Zodiac edged out um, misunderstood is number one, it has a mirror over here, like a big mirror. It's the whole, whole bit, it's the whole side, this side, it's the whole side on here. And then while it doesn't have a matte or a cream to set it, it does have some pretty good or it does have a good transition color here with the Taurus and even the Libra even though it's a little more shimmery it's still a really good transition color I love to use the Scorpio or the, the Sagittarius to like deepen up the crease if I really want to go crazy I've used the Aquarius um, the Virgo is a great like dark color to do this one has a black but it's kind of more like a charcoal black gray grayish black it's not like a true black so honestly the Virgo works pretty much the same um, and then it has a lot of lid colors, which, yeah. So I would have to give it to the Zodiac palette for ColourPop. And then I don't have very many. I, I have two Tarte palettes here. I have Icy Betch and the Tarte Lit Toasted. I'm going to be honest with you, neither of these are my favorite. I don't really, eh, I, I like them. Um, Icy Betch was, is really, really fun to play with, but it's obviously very limited on what you could do. Um, but it's, is a beautiful palette. It really is. It's got a large mirror on it as well. Um, Tartlet, Toasted Tartlet is definitely, if I had to, if I could only keep one, I'd, I'd keep this one because you have so much more, so many more options. Again, a big mirror here. And then you have so many options. I need to give this one a more fair chance. Um, I think I'll get more use out of it in the fall. I think I got it like in 
February or January or something. Um, but I, I like it. It's just, I don't know. But if I had to only keep one, I would keep the toasted palette. So we're going to kind of alternate here between high end and um, drugstore as much as we can. So for the drugstore, I have three Rimmel palettes. Um, I have the Spice palette, which looks like this. I have the Crimson palette, which looks like this. I have the color palette, which I haven't really played with all that much. <laughs> that was my Willy Wonka laugh, in case you didn't know. These two, the Spice and the Crimson, are definitely my favorites, but the Spice is just more my colors. I can get, I, I find myself getting more looks out of this one. I'm more creative with this one, even though you wouldn't, you wouldn't think about it because they're all pretty much the same tones, but I love this palette. I love the way it looks on my eyes. It makes my blue eyes pop and everything. So I had to choose one, it would be the Spice palette. And then I have three Natasha Denona palettes. Now I just, I just ordered the Sunrise palette, I believe it's called, the new one from her. Um, that was $65, and it's it's bigger, but it's not one of her $130 palettes. Oh, girl, can't afford that. Um, but I bought I bought the $65 palette as a um, as a present to myself for getting a new job and having income coming in. You know, spend that money because I get to make money. Um, so I. Have I have three Natasha Denona, and they're all the small ones. So this one is the five pan palette, and it's uh, palette two, and it's very rosy toned. I love these colors. I love this palette. This palette is beautiful. Um, and then I have the mini star palette. And then I have the mini nude palette. So today I used this color and this color, these two colors right here on my on my eyes today, and then I used a Stila Liquid Eyeshadow and Kitten to finish my look. It's very simple. I'm going to Vegas where it's gonna be super hot. So yeah. Um, this one is my favorite. This one, if I could keep one, I would keep this one. Um, this one was more expensive, but I don't care about that. That's not what this factor is. I love this one, but honest, to be completely honest. I basically use these two colors here. These two colors are like my go-to in this particular palette. I do also love this color. I love all these colors, I really do. But they're all the same tones and I, I love it. It just, when I use it, I find that I usually just use these two colors. Um, now these are all nudes, you know, neutrals. But that's, that's like an everyday kind of thing for me. And I have used all five colors. I do tend to use the mattes more and then, like I said, this shimmer in the middle more, but I don't know. If I had to choose, it would definitely be the mini nude. Highly recommend these. Um, I have three Wet n Wild palettes. This one is, um, this one's just a trio. This one is a quad and this one's more of a palette. Um, this one was better than the Amethyst one in the Crystal Collection, if you saw that video. Uh, this one was better, but it's still, I, I can't recommend that. Um, I do love Walking on Eggshells. This one is such a good, everyday, uh, inexpensive, put it on your eye and go kind of palette. This is a really good palette. But my favorite is definitely, hands down, the Nude Awakening. I just love the variety, the the pigmentation on this for a drugstore palette can't be beat. I, I love everything about it. I love that you get transition colors and you get that matte um, creamy color to set the lid with. This is actually a really good compact palette. If you don't want to spend a lot of money and you want those neutral tones, this is amazing. And then my next two brands are high end. And then I have some miscellaneous palettes. So I have the Urban Decay palettes. Here, I have Urban Decay palettes here. <laughs> and two of them are from the same brand. I used to have a lot of the Naked palettes, um, but they just got old. I need to go back. 
Number one was my favorite, honestly. Number one and number three were my favorite. I probably, I want to pick up, I don't know if I want to pick them up again, actually, to be completely honest with you. I'm not sure. Um, but I do have the Reloaded, the Naked Reloaded. That's what this one looks like. This was their remake of the original Nikki palette that they discontinued. I have the, I recently acquired the full Born to Run palette, as you might know if you watched my video on it, which is a big variety and a big mirror. And then I have the mini, two of the mini um, on the Run palettes. I have Bailout. I have Bailout, which is a purpler one, purpler, <laughs> which is a more purple one, and I have uh, Shortcut, which is the more like ready pinky tones. Now, I love these two palettes, by the way. I love these two palettes. You would think I would want to keep the On the Run palette. Um... There's so many varieties. You can definitely get color. Actually, you know what? You could. I think I would keep this one. I haven't used a lot of it yet, but but you can. You can get, well, you know what? No. Let's be honest with it. Let, let me be completely 100% honest. This would be the obvious choice because it has a big mirror. And ha you can do a neutral. You can do colorful looks with it. You can do pretty much anything with it. But maybe it's just because I haven't used it enough. But honestly, at this point, if I had to give up all but one, I would, I would probably keep the Reloaded. Just because it's got that base color. It's got the transition colors. It's got a shimmery, a couple shimmery lid colors that I love. It's still got that pop of color. It's got the deepening shade. You can go bronzy. You can go neutral. You can, like I said, you can do like that pop of color. Personally, right now, I may change my mind the more I play with Born to Run, but right now I would say, I would say my heart goes to the reload. And then last but not least of the brands that I have multiple of is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have five palettes. I have a little bit of an obsession with Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love her. I love her eyeshadow palettes. I love her formula. Uh, they're so creamy. The mattes are amazing. The shimmers are shimmery. Um, they've got nice pigmentation to them without, you know, just being glitter and nothing else. Um, so, yes, I have five. <laughs> I have the Norvina palette. This was my newest palette um, that I personally picked up. And it's more pinky purple tones. And then I have the Riviera palette, which is a limited edition uh, palette for the summer. And boy, how do you look at those colors? Oh, they're so pretty. I love those. When I want to be colorful, oh yeah, those are pretty. I love those palettes. I love those colors in there. I have the Soft Glam palette. I'm just going with what I have on my lap in order. Uh, soft glam palette. So I have the soft glam palette, which are beautiful, soft, neutrally colors. Um, yeah, I really love these. I really love this one. I have the very, very, very dirty. Her packaging is like velvet, so it gets really, really dirty. The Modern Renaissance palette, which again is extremely dirty. That's what modern renaissance looks like. And then last but not least, one that is also limited edition. You can tell because these two have different packaging. This one's like a canvas and this one's kind of like, kind of like a cardboard. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Um, and this is what, and this is more of a cool tone palette and this is the sultry palette. I love all five of these. Um, I'm still trying to get used to the Norvina palette. It wasn't everything that I wanted it to be, but again, I still just, I just need to play with it more is really what I've determined. Um, I love the Riviera. I love the Sultry, but my two absolute 100% favorites are the Modern Renaissance and the Soft Glam. 
and let's see over are these in frame yeah so the modern renaissance and the sock lamb are my two absolute favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes but if I could only choose one I would 100% choose the soft glam power palette and I'll tell you why you have tempera which has a little bit of a sheen but still can be used to set all over the lid um, glisten and fairy amazing lid colors amazing this dusty rose, I love this dusty rose. Sometimes I'll just go into dusty rose and put it all over my lid and into my crease and just call it a day. Or I'll go in with dusty rose and then put rose pink over it. I love rose pink as well. Um, you have Noir, which is the black. Or if you don't want to go black, you also have the Cypress Umbridge, um, which is the brown or the mulberry if you really want to like stick with those rosy tones. Uh, Burnt orange and orange soda are amazing transition colors. Amazing transition colors. I love this palette. <laughs> I love this palette. I get a lot of use out of this palette when I don't know what I want to do. I'll a lot of the times just grab this palette and just play with it. Definitely the soft lamp. Now, those are the ones that I have multiple from their brand. So I do have a couple miscellaneous high-end and a couple mis miscellaneous drugstore palettes that I do want to show you. Now, I don't know if I'm cheating by putting my NARS in this one because it's mostly eyeshadow for me. And honestly, even these two shades I use as eyeshadow. I mean, I'll use the bronzer as a bronzer, but this shade I, I exclusively use as an eyeshadow. So... I'm going to throw in my NARS uh, Hot Nights palette. And then I also have the Becca Goddess palette, which ooh, looks like that. I don't think this Goddess palette got a lot of, got a love, got a lot of love, but I like it. I think it's great. And then I have two little mini palettes here. I have the Petite Pro, I have the, the Viseart Petite Pro Apricontine, Apricotine. Let's see if that'll focus and you can read that. And I love the packaging on this. And this looks like that. And then I have a mini Huda Obsessions palette and I have the Topaz version. Now, if it's not cheating, <laughs> the NARS Hot Nights palette. I know it's hard to find right now and I'm sorry, but oh my gosh, I love everything about this palette. I love everything about this palette. I love the eye looks I get out of this palette. Um, you can go soft neutral, you can go daytime, you can go nighttime. You, you, you can pretty much do anything you want with this palette. Um, but if somebody or anybody out there considers it cheating because it's technically a face palette, my Viseart palette would be the one that I would keep if I had to choose. Uh, first of all, it's small, it's compact, I can take it with me anywhere, um, and I love the colors. I love that the top row is completely matte and the bottom row is all shimmer. And they're amazing quality, they're Vizier. So yeah, if I had to choose, like I said, I'd choose this one. But if you're like, ah, oh, Kristen, that's a face palette, you're a cheater, I'd say this one. <laughs> uh, is it cheating that I chose too? I mean, come on now. And then I have a lot of miscellaneous drugstore palettes. Um, again, if it's not cheating, the Emily Edit palette by uh, by Revolution Beauty. Mine fell apart, as you can see. Probably should just pick up a new one. As much as I as I've used this, oh, I love this. Um, okay, okay, there we go. Probably should pick up a new one of these. Um, and then I have a Flower Beauty, uh, a Flower Beauty one in, what is this called? Cool Natural. This is what that palette looks like. I have the Milani palette in Soft and Sultry. Uh, kind of a blinding package, sorry. I don't know if you can read that. Um, but here is what Soft and Sultry looks like. I have the CoverGirl Ascension palette. I have a video up on, actually I have a video up I think on all these so far. Um, 
This is what the Ascension palette looks like. I have the BH Cosmetic London and Love palette. That's what this one looks like. And I have the um, Juvia's Place Nubia 2 palette, which this is what this one looks like. Oops, not in frame. This is what this one looks like. Now, you probably think I was going to say the Emily Edit palette because of how much I get use out of it, and I do get a lot of use out of it, and I do love it, but honestly, if I had to give up everything except for one, I, I would keep the London Love palette. I was shocked. I was shocked. But I love this thing. It's amazing. I love that I can get a cool tone look, I can get a warm tone look, and I have. Um, and I just, I don't know, I love the color story, I love the pigmentation. I was very, very impressed by these. Mm, yeah. So those are all of my palettes <laughs> and the ones that I would keep if I had no other choice. Um, but to give them all up except for one. Which, let's hope that never happens. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see this with any other version of my makeup foundations, um, lipsticks, uh, highlighters, things like that. Thank you very much for watching as always. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button to be notified every time I update. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.